Alright, this is gonna be a weird one, but I literally just saw a level 9 red deer. I believe it was the big rack, I think it should be a diamond. And literally before I could even start recording, my game crashed. So, the one good thing is I didn't have my red deer color, and that forced me to, when I rejoined, be back to lodge, and now I have that. We are gonna try to get it with the bow. The only issue is, their drink time is pretty much over. I doubt, even if they're a 9.30, that we're gonna get them in time. But they should drink somewhere around there. That's where I spooked them from. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to get them, like, at their drink zone, if we're gonna have to track them. Now, I do know they'll rest, like, up here. And I think they feed, like, up on this mountain somewhere, so... I have no idea where they're gonna go. I think I've seen herds from down at this lake rest back here by the lodge, which could be a good thing. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, I know I saw really big antlers. I believe it was the big rack, and hopefully we can get eyes on them here somewhat shortly and at least confirm that, and then try to figure out what we're going to do from there, because I really want to get that with a bow. I don't think I've ever shot any diamond red deer with a bow, so that could be really cool. Oh, 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 oh. I think that's maybe him? Yeah, he's going to spook too. That's him. And that is the big rack. Dang, if I'd have been, like, just seconds earlier, I maybe could have gotten away with that. But I really, the reason I pushed it like I did is I spooked him right before I crashed. I didn't even know if he'd be back yet. But at least we have, like, maybe his zone? I didn't get a zone from that. But I bet he was drinking there. And maybe he's going to come back down here. I don't think he will. But sometimes they do just turn right around, so... We'll kind of scoot down here. We're going to stay to the right because the wind is kind of blowing northwest. It should actually start shifting south really soon, but maybe he'll be back here soon enough, but yeah, I don't know. It could take him a while to come down here, too. You just never know. Hello. That's the big horns. Um, I don't even have a gun I can shoot that with. Dang. That's probably a diamond. What is going on down here? Um. Alright. They're actually fleeing likely because of a puma. Their drink time is about to start. I don't know where I should go. The wind is starting to shift to the south. Man, okay. Well. This will be interesting. I'm going to just kind of hang out here and see if he comes back through. Otherwise... Maybe I can get one of his tracks and mark that. Okay, this is his track. So... We should be onto it. It's just going to be a matter of actually figuring out where he goes. Because he could turn around and come back. Like, I don't know where his next zone is going to be. And that's going to be really key as to whether or not this takes forever or not. Okay, that's probably... The herd with our black buck? I just don't see... The, yeah, I do. That's the one. That's not the right gun. If he goes broadside at all, like, I'm going to take that shot. I feel quite confident I can get the lungs on a black buck. But not when he's at that angle. Maybe, like, in the past where you could get quick kill with even stomach intestine. But yeah, not going to go for it. At least we know where he's at. At least we can probably use that to our advantage. But I don't want to risk that shot. That's the first bigger horns one I've seen since the... Uh, new scoring system. Ooh, okay. Where's his rest zone at? Back there. That's what I th thought. I never saw him. Okay, just quickly, since I think the black buck are nearby, let me look. Black buck drink zone. So I may have spooked them out of here. I only see the one. Okay, well... The wind is actually really good to go to that rest zone from here. Let's try that. I mean, it could be anything. He could have been far enough away that he didn't get to the zone yet when I went through. Maybe I spooked him and he's going to come back. But we're going to go try that. Getting that zone from his track there is huge. Okay, so the plan is, just because we've been away from this zone for a while, I haven't shot. I've been pretty slow other than, like running around a little bit looking for those black buck, but I was far away from the zone. So I am just calling and hoping he comes this way because I don't really know what else to do. 
But I have the zone marked. And I just don't have like any of his tracks going down this way. That's not the right red deer. You know what? It could be. Okay, good. He's only up to 210, so that's not the track that I've been on. That means, like, this rest zone was the one I got when I was on the 210 to 240 track, which should be our legendary. I'd like to get that guy out of the way. I mean, maybe our legendary is coming in too, so I'm not going to use a gun, but... Well, maybe bow this dude? And at least that can have one less red deer, like, calling and everything. Certainly no sign of any level 9s coming in, so we'll hopefully get this guy. I'd love to, like, heart shot him or whatever so we don't have to spend time tracking. He's calm, so we can let him get a little closer. That's plenty. Not quite hard, but didn't want him to run off. Actually, I thought that was a 7. That's a big 6. He never would have had a chance of being 210 to 240. I just didn't even pay attention. But he's out of the way. No sign of the legendary yet, but... I mean, maybe that's a good sign, just that there was a red deer down here? Okay, our black buck should be with these. I just haven't seen... The five yet. There he is right there, actually. Alright, he's actually broadside. I think we're gonna take the shot. I don't love my chances of doing any better. Gosh, that's close. I don't know if that's lungs. I think it was at least liver. See, stomach and testin used to get pretty decent quick kill on these guys, so I don't know. But I'm hoping that's liver, stomach, and testin as fast as he died. Or at least just like straight liver or whatever. It was really, really close. He actually died quite nicely, so let's go ahead and turn tracks off and get a quick screenshot, because he does have the nicer horns. Try to make sure that's framed decently and I guess that flower is just going to stay there, but... Alright, now we got to hope that we actually got the shot in there. And we did, and he is a diamond. He's almost max weight, though. And he's barely diamond. 1.2 over. What in the world? I guess I shot under the near side lung and got the far side? Alright, that is half of the puzzle. This has been the weirdest hunt. Now i got to go find... The red deer, which the only good thing is their zones are about to switch. They're almost ready to go feed because I've got nothing. His tracks are gone. I'm starting to wonder if I was even on the right one because there's a level 7 down there, 210 to 240. I don't know, but at least we can 100% focus on the red deer from this point. That just looks huge, and it's an orange. I mean, I'm killing time at this point, seeing if... Uh, Either the time gets switched or red deer are about to start feeding. See, like, that's the rest zone I got, I thought, from our level 9. But he's not there. Oh, I don't even have the 300. I'm going to have to use the 7 mil for this. But, yeah, I'm just going to kill this. Might as well pass some time. I'm going to try to go for a hard shot, but oh, they're leaving too, I think. Hopefully that gets along. If it doesn't, quite honestly, it's not going to kill him. <laughs> and we can get another shot, but... I think it should. Like, you can reach their lungs quite easily from the front, and the 7 mils got good penetration. But yeah, red deer are about to start, dr uh, not drinking, feeding. And maybe that'll get him to show up, because I don't think I ever had the proper zone. I think this rest zone that I picked up is actually level 7, and he happened to have the same weight estimate, so... I'm not really sure where we're at right now, but... I mean, looks like our buffalo died, so there's that. Actually, I should mention, too, now that we're here to claim this guy. Uh, I'm recording these videos way in advance, so there's a chance that water buffalo have been fixed by the time this video's out, but at the time I'm recording this, they're still making diamond all over the place. And that's actually a big one, 202.6. He might be bigger than my legendary. My legendary is 202-something. He would have been close to legitimate diamond weight, but he would have been a little low in the past, but... Yeah, he just looked huge and pretty much had time to kill, so I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to begin looking for that red deer. I did mention, I think, I'm pretty sure I talked about it. Maybe I just thought it, but 
they feed over here somewhere. And I just wonder, like, that's maybe the closest feed zone to where he was. And it might be worth checking that. I may go and look around there. I think there's a legitimate chance this could be our red deer. Because I mentioned the level 7 that I saw. He was 210 to 240, but I actually shot him. I didn't hit him well, but I found his blood. There's no bleed rate on this track, so this is not that level 7. I'm not saying it's going to be our level 9, but it's the best chance I have right now. So we're going to follow it. It's just trotting over here. I'm guessing he left his rest zone, and maybe that's why he's suddenly, like, visible or whatever again. But it's just now. Alright. Oh, well, that's actually him, too. Man, I wish I could have seen him call. But I literally was just thinking, I don't know where his tracks are, but I could see up into here, and I knew they fed, like, in this open area. If he's right there, and he's feeding right there, this may be as good a situation as we can get in this area, because there's nothing to hide in up there. But he's close enough that we can probably hide in something down in here and call him in. But we're going to keep working our way south. We're going to get hopefully in as good a position as we can with the wind because the closer it gets to dark the more it's going to start to shift and I don't know which way is going to shift so we want to be in as good a spot as possible but we might actually be able to do this I'm going to mark him so I know where he's at and we're going to try to get kind of down and around and we're going to try to find a spot where we can actually be hidden and actually see his tracks again so he must have hung a little bit down further south than I thought on the way through here but I can't believe he's actually up here like this is such a cool area oh yeah look at that that is such a cool sight let me get rid of my marker this bush completely hides us I genuinely think this is our best chance so we're gonna hit the call looks like he's on his way and we should be set now if anything I gotta hold a little bit right because the wind is blowing right to left but man I cannot believe he's in this area this is probably the coolest looking area on the entire map and we have definitely the coolest looking species up here actually a decent seven there too he's kind of stuck there looks like he's gonna get it figured out and then just hopefully he gives us a good shot oh gosh he's right there how the heck okay 30 meters if I get out the right weapon if he's broadside like that I think we can do it nice that looked perfect and he's gonna die oh my god Ugh. that was so cool but I swear I was so nervous doing that just because these ones that take forever especially like I just want to make sure I get them in the end because it takes so much time and effort and like just a bunch of waiting around and not doing anything god that was cool all right 249.7 that's definitely lower end 249 for diamond and he's 0.7 above it but double lung 30 meters we held a little bit right and we needed it like, that pushed it front half of the lungs. That is so dang cool. I cannot believe we actually found that after how long. We got the diamond black buck in the middle. Just so cool. That was just an absolute struggle to finally get that guy, but it was worth it. We gotta go ahead and take down this flea state one that we did a little while ago. Gonna dismantle that. And then we can go ahead and actually make the one that we've been waiting for. So we have the new diamond red deer, which 0.76, like three quarters of a unit, whatever. I don't think they're technically inches, but we can go with that above the minimum for diamond. But this is going to look way cooler here, kind of entering into this area. I think we're going to do it just like that. That is so cool. I can't believe we finally got that. And the black buck, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Maybe, I'm trying to do things differently. Like, I had black buck up here in the old lodge. 
I'd like to do... I'm wondering about doing Axis Deer and Black Buck up here, but maybe as these two plaques? A Diamond Axis on one side and a Diamond Black Buck on the other? I think that would actually be cool. I like that, but yeah. What a just ridiculous hunt. Oh, we have the Water Buffalo I gotta put up too. Um, where can I put that? I mean, we have a bunch of them at this point. Like, I've just got a bunch of them hanging up. They're not all going to stay. Eventually, I am going to get, like, other things. But for now, that's kind of what we've been getting. You know what? This might actually look kind of decent. This is the other water buffalo we killed a while ago in another parquet hunt. So, let's do that. Get him right there. And I don't even know where my legendary is. I think he's out here now. I just want to see if he's actually bigger. i got to figure out where I put that. Oh, it's him here. Okay, he's actually bigger. Legendary's still the biggest diamond water buffalo I killed. That's kind of all I care about. Want to make sure he is, but yeah. I think that's actually going to do it for this video after tons of stress and struggling. We finally got the red deer. I really wanted one before the red deer true axe came out, so that's a huge plus to get him for this multi-mount right here. Just looks so dang cool. Maybe we can get a true rack diamond for the other albino uh, female we have at some point, but yeah. Really happy to get that. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.